about uh, this happening right now. President Xi and Putin set to hold formal talks today after a formal dinner in Moscow last night. This after President Xi's first trip to Moscow since the invasion of Ukraine began more than a year ago. Eunice Yoon joins us now from Beijing. Eunice. Thanks so much, Andrew. Well, business here in the Russian district of Beijing is thriving, and it looks as though the situation is only going to get better. Official meetings for President Xi's visit to Moscow are underway, and so far, the summit is about deepening ties. Russian state media has been reporting about uh, how the two have had a very warm greeting, uh, referring to each other as dear friend. Uh, state media there has also said that President Xi invited both Putin and the Russian prime minister to China. Uh, Xi uh, predicted that uh, Russians would re-elect Putin next year for his, quote, strong leadership, even though he hasn't officially announced that he's running. Uh, while Putin praised Xi for securing a third term and uh, for his uh, so-called peace plan, uh, to resolve the uh, crisis in Ukraine, which was unveiled last month. Uh, Putin said uh, that he, quote, carefully studied the 12-point plan, and the Kremlin says that uh, during the four-and-a-half-hour informal discussion that the two had yesterday, that they had a very thorough exchange of views on Ukraine. Now, the Chinese have said that uh, Putin praised uh, their plan's fairness and said that he is open to talks for peace, of course, no word, though, on uh, Russian concessions or on the preconditions that Ukraine has had, uh, for example, um, all of Russian troops withdrawing. Uh, today's talks are going to focus more on the bilateral relationship, uh, though um, both sides have said that they also will be discussing um, Ukraine. And uh, they're going to focus on what they have called a blueprint for a comprehensive strategic partnership. And the Kremlin says that the two leaders are expected to sign a dozen agreements or so on economic cooperation through 2030. And um, afterwards, they're going to address the media and then go to a state dinner. Guys?